What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a lot. Yes, that's right. You heard me. I'm going to help you make a lot. Not learn how to put one on, but make one yourself. So, before we get started, yes, I have my MacBook back, or a new MacBook, and I broke the bank for it. So, we're gonna get started with that. I'm gonna throw my screen on the screen so we can just go at it. Here we are. We have our clip in Premiere Pro, and we're gonna hit this button down here. You don't have to find a frame that is good. It doesn't have to be a bad frame. It doesn't have to be a average frame. It doesn't matter what frame you choose as long as you got something that you can color. So we're gonna grab this frame of code, you're gonna hit this export button down here and you're gonna click enter. And then it's gonna save, you go to the folder and you import it into Photoshop. So here we are in Photoshop and we're gonna get started with these adjustments over here. Now, when you're making a LUT, you want to you know, focus on the basic ones, like the curves, the color balance, things that have to do with color. You don't wanna go into the sharpening or anything, you can always do that in Premiere Pro. So we're gonna mess around with these here. We're gonna, you know, make sure that you guys don't forget about these things here. You can get into specifics. You guys can do the color balance and focus on the shadows and the highlights. So don't limit yourself to what you don't know. So make sure you guys really go into the program and study it. Make sure you guys try to figure it out for yourself and really get into the program and familiar yourself. Familiarate, familiar, fam familiarize, familiarize yourself with it and just go at it. So once you're done here, you go to file, you go to export and then you click color lookup tables. You do that and you get all these options, you get 3DL, you get cube, you get ICC, you get CSP, but I only go with cube because that's kind of just what I you know came to do so we get the high quality because the higher the quality the better the color you know and then you can add a copyright you can do description but what if you don't need that just click ok save it bam and then go over to premiere back to premiere and if you didn't watch my video from last week make sure you guys check that out because I'm teaching you guys how to color in premiere pro so you head over to the color tab and you import your LUT, and yeah, the video is in the calling cards over here somewhere, one of these corners. But yeah, so we're gonna go back, we're gonna save this LUT and import it. And now the LUT is on the clip. I stuttered a lot. So now the color's on the clip, and you can go through and make some micro adjustments. You can go with the color temperature, you can go with the exposure, you can mess with the highlights, the shadows, the contrast. You guys can do pretty much anything from here now that the LUT is on. And then, you know, that's pretty much it. That's how you make a LUT and you import it to Premiere Pro. So, if this helped you guys out, make sure you drop a comment down below, smash that subscribe button, and throw that like over there. No, throw it down there. And then, yeah, just share the video. I guess that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next time.